Isra Jabis is one of the Palestinian prisoners released as part of the deal after eight years in prison. She spoke about her feelings on being set free. I am very shy and ashamed to celebrate while the whole of Palestine is bleeding. We had some fresh air in the prison style. The prisoners who get who get some release from one bus to another bus. You in particular suffered a lot. The prison and the burns, but today is a moment of happiness. Finally, you are reunited with Muatasam after eight years. Thank God. He waited a lot for you. What would you say for him? Also, Palestine waited a lot for us. Our wants were waited a lot since we were little. Since we were kids, our wants were with us. Isra, you always said how much you were suffering. Could you please tell us more? Thank God, thank God. My wounds are visible and my struggles, I don't need to talk about it. In addition to the struggle with the feelings and with yearning to the family, but this is the price the prisoners pay, and that's for the feeling and longing to the family. Did you know that you were going to be released? No, I didn't. I was feeling uh, let down a long time ago because there are a lot of injured people in the prisons and they were spending years. I had left 22 months. When I see a child only with 18 days left, he was released and other people who were there inside for more than 18 years and they are still left there. For 18 days, he was released. For me personally, that's strange. Thank God for everything. Thank God for your safety. They should release everybody, whether it's 18 days or it's years. But it's really, really upsetting that a prisoner in the prison who just entered, he hasn't been there for a long time, he gets released. And a person who has been there struggling for years and men men are being beaten up and even the women we are being beaten up i want to tell you that if a child in the street hit me with a stone i would just tell him go away go away little boy but look how silly the government is when the little girls in my room i left them they were crying because they've been subjected to a lot of things Little girl, I'm not even talking about the grown-up women, I'm talking about the small girls. They've been through things that nobody should witness. Did this uh, practices increase during the war? A lot, a lot. I can say that since the events happened, since the first day, they took Marah Bakir to another prison cell and it was ongoing, taking girls to separate cells. And on the same day, the first day of the event, they used a gas bombs on the prisoners. They used it in a room next to me, and I had like lung infection. It took a whole, a lot of time, like only a week ago I was improved. That's it.